want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge video. This has the extra bonus of Arthur completing another challenge as well. Survivalist 6, and then Weapons Expert 1. I managed to complete them, and just because Weapons Expert 1 is very quick, I put it on the tail end of this video, because Survivalist 6 is actually fairly quick. And I'll explain as we move into the actual challenge video. I was originally trying to start Master Hunter 6, which is kill five cougars with your bow and skin them. Instead, I accidentally started Survivalist 6 and learned something interesting about the actual, um, how shall I say, challenge. As I waited for a cougar, naturally wild boars come up to try and eat the bait, and I was just trying to discourage the wild boar. All of a sudden, one of five scavengers killed. Survivalist six popped up. Apparently, if the boar is going for something to eat, like even bait, it's scavenging, and it counted as a kill. Well, with this started, I might as well just start and finish Survivalist 6, and I'll show you how to do it very easily. First, I went back to Copperhead Landing, and you need to create a corpse. And the reason I'm doing it here is there's plenty of rats, raccoons, scavenger-type animals around, and they're usually attracted to a corpse, like a dead alligator. Once you shoot an animal, just walk off, walk away, um, look around for herbs, give things a few uh, minutes uh, in real time, uh, about a couple hours in game time, and then you can come back and, well, you'll find scavengers. In fact, there's ravens and other things all flocking around that. Oh, those are herons, but there's plenty of ravens and other animals that are scavengers that are going to come to the corpse. Okay, I noticed a bunch of ravens around the alligator corpse, and if you need five, you better wait until five show up. But in this case, I only need four, so I get a dynamite arrow, and as they feast on the corpse, I take a nice aim. There you go. Coupled with the wild boar I killed previously, well, yeah, that's five of five animals scavenging. Now I got to kill eight small game with consecutive shots. Um, yeah, that's using the small game arrow. And I turned this place into a bloodbath at some point. But I'll show you how I did it originally after some research. And you can also look at my previous video. But if you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. And stick around for the bonus Weapons Master 1 accomplishment. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. 
and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. I was trying to do Sharpshooter 4, which is kill an enemy with a tomahawk from at least 80 feet. This wasn't working out, so I pulled out Arthur's knife and decided to stab two more guys because Arthur had already killed one guy with his knife rescuing Sean, whom he is now helping rob a house. And that is Weapons Expert 1. Number 2 is kill 3 people in 10 seconds with only throwing knives. Down in the list of challenge videos is a back-to-back -back challenges leave, video that has Weapon Expert all right, all right, take it 2 easy. in it, the, but the I might do a separate video. If you stick your hand thanks for the watching right, the bonus content, and thanks for stopping by.